think it's about time I look for a new pair of shoes for myself. I'm a flat type of gal, so I'd get something like this. See, these are kind of too old lady looking. Why does she always get flats? Why can't you embrace other shoes, man? What about these? What's wrong with these, like, exercise shoes down here? It, just because they're called exercise shoes doesn't mean you have to exercise them. You know, you, you could just sit in those shoes all day. They're, they're just supposed to be comfortable or, like, more durable. Which always just, like, it always gets me so angry when I talk to somebody and they go, Oh, man, I just want shoes that, like, really make me, like, my feet feel good right and then i always see them wearing like tims or like i see them wearing like i don't know uh like white air forces and it's like bro what are you doing like why are you if you want shoes that actually fit you and shoes that are actually gonna feel good on your feet then like go buy some not even that expensive right like i've been wearing these same shoes for like over a year and they're fine like the only problem is like when i like you guys can't see it but like the laces, I've had to like relace these like four times because they keep getting fucked up. Like they're just, I guess it's like really sharp when I pull because I like to have my my shoes like really tight to the foot because I feel more secure that way. Same thing with my nutsack too. I like to wear clothes uh, or underwear. I wear boxer briefs to like give me that, you know, like suction, you know, it, it kind of feels like I'm like a, a modern day superhero almost. Cause I, I don't want to have, I know some guys can just free ball it and just have their shit slap it against their legs all day. Nah, I can't do that shit. I don't know what the fuck you're doing, bro. That's uncomfortable. It's probably to me, it would feel like the way that, you know, how women will tell you when they work out their, their, uh, their boobs move up and down and stuff like that. I don't have that problem since I don't have boobs, but I do have the problem of sometimes when you work out, you'll have like whatever shirt you're wearing. If it's not tightly equipped to your, to your person, you will have like chafing on the nipples. And I know a lot of women have that issue and boobs in general are an issue for women and things such and so forth. But for me, that would be like the equivalent for me would be like having your, cause I've worn like regular boxers before and I hate it. It's so bad. Like you're just walking and then you're just like, you're falling over. Cause like, you know, it's so big. It's so massive that it slaps against your legs. You're like, ah, oh, fuck. And then you don't know what to do because like, you don't want to like make it seem, you don't want to make it seem like everybody's, you know, like looking at you now and stuff like that. Like, don't look at me. Sorry. Just big meated individual. Sorry. Now I'm literally walking bow legged. So I have to like securely wrap my, I don't know. I just really feel like Amber needs to level up. Level up a little bit. I don't know why she always goes for the flats. Is it really because her feet are so incredibly weird that this is the only shoes that actually fit her? Why does it matter if these look old lady? This, why are they old lady? Because they have straps? If anything, they make you look like an anime character. For me. Ooh, my feet hurt. So, I wear flats. Damn, bro. It's so crazy. Like, your feet go like this? Why are they out like this? Shouldn't they be more so like this? Why are they like this? Feet and legs are always hurting. I'm wearing, um... Because you're wearing, like, the fucking worst shoes for your feet. At Like, they give you, like, no support, right? It's literally, like, fabric to... Foot, fabric, and then ground. You don't even have a layer in between that. There's nothing there. And I, I know there are people out there that go, like, Oh, David, you gotta stop being gay. Us humans were never meant to have shoes. We were supposed to walk on the ground with our bare feet. And, you know, we were supposed to real deal... Like, we're, we're savages. You should embrace it. Dude, fuck off me, dude. Suck me. I'm not walking outside with no feet, okay, with no shoes. I'm not doing that. I wear shoes inside. You think I'm gonna wear? You think I'm not gonna wear shoes outside? That's crazy, bro. So nope, don't care. Uh, you know, like there are homeless people around here. I'm scared that I might step on one. There might be needles. There might be I don't know, like people that want to suck your toes randomly. I'm not doing it. I'm just not having. I'm not walking outside with no shoes on with the idea that somebody might look upon my delectable toes and think that they can embrace them with their oral fixation. Not doing it, just not. So if you're one of those people that says that we should be wearing shoes out, we shouldn't be wearing shoes outside, suck me, I don't care. No, I'm wearing shoes, all right? But Amber should also wear shoes, like good quality shoes, because I don't know how many times, like you, well, listen, dude. I'm not one of these people that are bougie and tells you to go to like Foot Locker or a, a, like a Foot Action or whatever, like which sounds like a porn category. You, I'm not telling you that you shouldn't be going to these places. You can go ahead, go to these places and buy your shoes and stuff like that. But um, Amber, like, seems like she only stop, shops at, like, I don't even know. Like, what was that? Like, a JC Penney's or something like that? Like, where are you going, dude? Why are you buying these weird, these weird shoes? I never even... Bro, in today's world, I don't think I've ever seen a woman wear anything that wasn't Crocs, if I'm being honest with you, when it comes to, like, walking outside. But I've never seen a single person in my life that, have, that has ever worn the flats. I've never seen that. Um, just Amber. I've never seen anybody else wear those. Right now. So we've had a long day. I'm wearing the wrong shoes. Yeah, wearing the wrong shoes. Therefore, I got to use the cart. Just keep it a bucket. I don't know why Amber always makes it seem like 
we are the dumb ones. Like, we can't put two and two together. You're, if that is the truth, like, oh, no, I'm wearing the wrong shoes when 95% of all your shoes are the same shoe, and then you use that as an excuse to ride a cart in a grocery store, do you think we're dumb or something like that? Even if you, even if that was the case, which it's obviously not, even if that was the case, you're literally setting yourself up for failure because you're buying these shoes knowing that they're going to be terrible for your feet. So, therefore, the, the correct course of action to you would be, I have to wear it. I have to drive the cart in the store because my feet hurt so bad then why'd you buy the shoes that hurt your feet so bad amber mm, mm, mm. could it be that you just have a problem walking in general because having a girly that weighs almost 600 pounds on a daily basis no matter what shoes you wear are going to be terrible but i do think that amber should be prioritizing good shoes i don't know if her feet are just like lopsided or crunchy or something or whatever they might be difficult to take off your foot in it i've actually I have seen that video of her foot being crunched up, but it might be a little bit weird to go to the shoe store and get fitted for a shoe because obviously if you weigh like a large amount, it's going to be difficult to even judge what, what size shoe you are because you got extra fat and appendages on your feet. So it might be difficult to know what you are and people are like, all right, let's size you up and they take off the sock and you hear like that, mm, mm, you know, because your feet are so crunched up and stuff like that. Not me saying this, dude. She literally said that she hasn't washed her she doesn't wash okay she doesn't wash herself you think that she can lift up her foot to scrub down her foot no she can't don't lie to me and my feet hurt and so do hers so damn dude you got that we got a great big convoy everybody and their mother uses this thing nobody who everybody and their mothers dude you gotta watch yourself dude because i know literal mothers that are in their 70s that fully walk with their legs extended in a very purposeful way with a lot of haste and a lot of personality and never would even look at one of these things okay and if you're one of those mothers that doesn't do that i'm not shitting on you but i think it's just like a very very crazy idea to sit there and go well i mean if you know if you guys are saying that i'm a bad person from using this everybody nobody no that's not the case there are some like old Asian women that use this. There are some, uh, maybe some fat people too, sure. But like, just keep it a buck, Amber. You're using this shit because you're fat as fuck and you don't want to, you don't want to walk. And you got Destiny uh, riding dirty with you because you didn't want it to be weird and you were the only one doing it. Yeah, so don't, don't lie to us. We can put two and two together. Like everybody. We see like skinny people. No, you don't. No, you don't. Skinny people with what? Missing legs, maybe? Even, I feel like even skinny people with missing legs probably have an, a, an increased chance of walking than than Amber sitting on this, cha this people, chair. Old people, purple people, yellow. Purple people, huh? Hold up, Amber. You can't be a little racist. People, carrot people. Everybody. I use this. It's because it's 2 a.m. <laughs> what you mean? I use this because it's 2 a.m.? Who the fuck is going to Walmart at 2 a.m.? What, what kind of life are you living? You got nothing going on tomorrow? 2 a.m.? Damn, bro. What time you go to bed? the fuck 2 a.m in the morning you're buying pre-packaged coffee ramen these like chew thing more ramen more fucking what are you doing amber you got nothing going on dude damn destiny just does it because like i feel stupid doing it and but i really do it because of my heel spur and i've had a really long day and i'm wearing the totally wrong shoes and it hurts really bad just setting yourself up for failure she just admitted too that destiny is only using it because if she didn't use it she would feel really bad because she's the only one in the store using it while telling everybody that many people use it while seeing that she's the only one using it this is a bad angle for her too by the way i don't even know what she's doing with her mouth here but we should not discriminate against who what you mean we shouldn't discriminate there's no discrimination here i'm judging you 100 like but that's obvious dude you're literally in a walmart at 2 a.m buying pre-packaged food and you're sitting in a cart as if this is some kind of normative thing like you I don't even understand what your sleep schedule looks like if this is just what you're doing. I'm not, it's, it's fine if you want to use accessibility options. Like, I'm not here to disqualify you. Go ahead. Use your accessibility options. They're, they're, they're there for a reason, right? That'd be like me getting upset because you took an elevator. Um, it's great. I'm happy that you're using the elevator. But you know what's really sad? Is that you're trying to excuse this shit by saying, like, everybody uses it. Like, you know, your mom probably uses it. Oh, well, like, you know, Destiny's using it too. But I, even though I told her to use it. Dude. Stop trying to make it seem like this is a normal thing, all right, dude? It's not. You're fat, and you're using it because you're fat, not because you have a heel support, spur. Oh, it might be. I don't know. Like, maybe th those are also things that are hurting you, but it's because you're big. Uses these versus who don't, because that's kind of messed up. <sighs> Damn. Damn, bro. Damn, I couldn't, I can't even imagine the amount of trauma. Because, like, you guys, you guys got to understand, right? This is a big woman, 
okay? This is a really big woman. 500 pounds on anybody is serious. People sleep on it. People real deal sleep on the amount of weight that 500 pounds actually is, five to 600 pounds. And your ankles are small, like small little joints, right? Like they're, they're, little, they're little bitty pieces of bone that have to hold up your entire body. Ordinarily, our feet already suck, right? As human beings, our feet are literally suck dick. And that's because we were like originally not human beings. So we were like other things and stuff like that. Like I know there are some people that think that you were like fish and stuff like that too. I don't know personally if I was a fish, but I know that I was probably a chimpanzee or something like that. Like I was probably something that was like climbing on trees. That's why our feet look like hands because they're, they were originally kind of like hands, but then they like morphed into feet, which is one of the reasons why if you ever look at a foot, it looks disgusting. I don't know how so many people can suck toes and stuff like that. Thinking that they're delectable for me personally. Nope. Can't do it. That shit is creepy as fuck. They're hairy. I know they got dirt on that shit. Athlete's foot. I'm not putting athlete's foot on my tongue. Just to satisfy your urges of delectable toenails. Don't like it. Nope. I don't care if you're like the most attractive woman on the planet and you're going to bestow upon me. Well, I might do it for a little bit of money, I guess. I mean, but then again, who's not doing that for money? Let's be honest for a second. But you're sitting there, okay? Well, not sitting. You're standing there. Already, your feet suck dick. And then to pile it on, I think like I, I think I read something somewhere. It was like by the time you're 30 or 40 years old, like 50% of people will have problems with their feet because you have so many joints just compiled on top of one another that have just been like compacted and compacted and compacted. So ordinarily, your feet suck. And then your ankles as well have to hold up your weight of your body. And it's a very small joint. You're standing upwards. It's already like a lot of force being pushed down. And for somebody like Amber who weighs like 500 pounds, default uh dude you're that's like how much do you weigh if i weigh 100 if i weigh 150 pounds right and amber weighs let's just say i don't know like let me just do that math real quick amber weighs probably around four four of me that's four of me okay now keep in mind four of me would be awesome right it would be great but you also got to look at it like this that's bones, that's muscle, that's personality, that's a whole bunch of lubrification from drinking water and stuff like that. On Amber, it's just fat. It's literally just fat. It's not, a, it's not four other human beings. No, it's just one human being with the mass and the body weight of four other human beings. So with that on there, the amount of force that's being pushed down on her big ankles, man, I don't even, I can't even believe this shit looks like this. Uh, is is astronomical. Like, it's not just 500 pounds. It's literally thousands of pounds being pushed down, up, in, out, like all that all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I can see why she has a whole bunch of problems. And her feet are so small in comparison to the rest of her body. It's so crazy to see that, man. I started power walking at the beginning super, super fast. With asthma and no medicine. Asthma, dude. I think she's just be coming up with reasons why she's out of breath just to make it seem like she doesn't actually have a problem with the weight. What are you talking? What you mean asthma, dude? What you mean? Speaking as somebody that did have asthma and I grew out of it. I know there are people out there that go, Dave, you don't grow out of asthma. I get it. I understand. I probably still, I, I probably still do have asthma somewhere in there. Um, and I know there's going to be someone in the comment section going, is asthma a man? No, asthma is not a man. Asthma is a medical condition that I was diagnosed with as a children and I have ascended past it. Now I don't have respiratory issues anymore, even if I work out for long periods of time. And also I can carry a long stream of conversation without probably taking a breath like I'm Stevie from Malcolm in the Middle, like Amber. But there are many reasons why somebody would have respiratory issues. And it's very, very disingenuous to sit there and go, oh, the reason why I'm out of breath is not because I weigh 500 pounds. No, no, that is not the reason. And if you say that's the reason, then you're fat phobic. And not only are you fat phobic, but that's discrimination. How dare you look at my cat outfit? It's so good. It is really good. I'll give you that. Whoever did the makeup for you. Very, very good. Very reminiscent of the Wizard of Oz, the one that, you know, the, the, the giant, the cat guy or whatever from the Wizard of Oz. I thought he was kind of weird, though. But anyway, what were we talking about, dude? I don't know. I forgot. No. Oh, yeah, it is very disingenuous to sit there and say that that's the reason why when I've never heard you ever in my entire life talk about how you have asthma. She just kind of like comes up with illnesses and goes, this is the reason why, and then never talks about that ever again. Do you actually have asthma or are you just coming up with this like a reason to you know be be having the respiratory issues sweater no jacket nope what does that matter yeah if anything that's good for you dude well, how what is it it's like probably october dude october's and recent memories have been hot oh, hot and dangerous dude because we got global warming okay everybody's walking around um uh, women during halloween aren't they like the epitome of just wearing really really like bougie outfits that don't really reflect Halloween. I feel like women got to put a little bit more effort during Halloween, dude. Like, I'm sick of just women walking around as cats. 
Like, come on. There are other outfits. You can dress up as, like, a fruit roll-up. You can be uh, the Queen of England. That's a cool one. That's a cool one, right? You could do the, you know, I don't know, cup, couple outfits. Um, Princess Peach, Mario. You could do that, too. Uh, I don't care if you're black. You can do other outfits. It's not cultural discrimination if you want to dress up as a white girl. Um, and it's also not cultural discrimination, by the way, if I want to dress up as a black guy. I mean, it would be kind of weird if I blackface myself. But if I wanted to say, who's, like, a prolific black man that a lot of people, like, really, really enjoy that like everybody, everybody well known. Like if I wanted to dress up like Idris Elba, uh, I think I probably should. I don't know exactly what that would entail on how he dresses specifically. I don't think people would really know if I was Idris Elba. Who's like a really good black guy that like everybody goes like, wow, look at that black guy. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Is he black? I don't fucking know. Uh, what about the other guy that plays golf? Um, that you know what I'm talking about? That guy, Tiger Woods. I, he's kind of black, right? He's a little black, I think. Is he black? What is he? What is Tiger Woods? I don't know, actually. What is that? He's something, dude. He's definitely not white, right? Is he? Is he white? I don't know, man. What is he from? Like the Mediterranean? I don't know, man. Whatever, dude. I don't know. Coat. Ooh, in 40 degree weather. No 40 is pretty good, dude. Whew, dude, I'm outside in a t-shirt at 55, bro. What you talking about? 40 is nothing. I got my window open right now. It's 42. What you talking about? Ten tennis shoes. I know I wore the wrong shoes. I wore Tennis shoes are the better shoes to be walking in compared to those flats that you got, dude. Flats. God damn, bro. I just want to, I remember I was watching a video from her and she said that she had tripped up a step because she was walking on the sidewalk. Damn, your sidewalks are ass butter, dude. What the fuck is this? I remember one time I was with this girl, right? And she lived in this really bougie part of Massachusetts and she was like, come over and have sex with me. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> okay. So I went over there and had sex with her, right? But I remember like walking on her streets because these houses... Ha were like millions of dollars, right? I had never seen houses like this before in my life because I'm poor. And I was with this girl and she's like, yeah, that house over there just sold for like $750,000. And I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna even, I don't even know how much that is. Like how many hands does that take to count? And and she was like, there was no sidewalks, right? There was no sidewalks on the street that we were walking on. And there was one street lamp every, I would say three blocks. It was an anomalous thing. Like there was just beautiful houses, no black people. She was black, but um, you know, that's, I don't, I got, you know, I'm a snow bunny. And then when she took me to her house, I was hundred percent assured that I wasn't going to make it out of it because the way she was like, Hey, you want to like come over and have sex? And I was like, I was trying to be like really, really gentleman. Like, and I was like, I'm going to hold doors open for you. I'm going to buy you burritos and stuff. And then she was like, yeah, or we can just have sex. So I was like, yeah, I mean like, what the fuck? I mean, that'd be cr crazy for me if I was like, nah, I can't do that. Come on. I'm not that kind of guy. Like, what are you talking about, dude? No. So obviously we went into her, her, her like her house was like, uh, like it, there was a street, the street. And then there would be like an, like a driveway, right? Trees like trees all over the place in between the driveway. And then you walk down like two minutes and then eventually you see your house. And then I'm like, dude, why is your house like two minutes away from the street? Like that's kind of far. And you know, what's really crazy too. It's like, she was like, we have to go into the back. And I was like, what you mean? We got to go through. You don't have the front door. What's wrong with the front door? Why can't we go through the front door? And then we went through the back and I saw a deer. I saw a deer in her backyard. And then I was like, I don't think I've ever seen one of these in real life. Like, this is my first time ever seeing one of these, ever. And she was like, oh, yeah, we just have those back there. Such a different, you know, drastic thing, seeing that I was poor and still am poor. And then I was with this girl who was <coughs> not poor because she had deers in her backyard. I got crackheads in my backyard, dude. And she has deer, weird, you know, different types of worlds, right? And then I thought that I was going to get my liver, like, I thought I was going to go in there, there was going to be a whole bunch of dudes with masks, and they were, like, going to cut me open and take my liver out. We didn't. We had sex. But still, I wouldn't recommend anybody doing that. I don't know what the, what we were talking about. Oh, because her streets don't have sidewalks. Same thing. Yeah, these streets didn't have sidewalks. So, when Amber said this one day that she had tripped up the sidewalk because lifting up her leg to try to get up to the sidewalk, which I think from street to sidewalk is probably, like, three inches at most, uh, three inches is small. I don't care what anybody says. You got three inches on your sidewalks. That's, pfft, you got some small meat shit, bro. That's, that's micro, micro sidewalk meats. But she tripped up it because the idea of lifting up, I mean, her leg got away 80 pounds at least, right? Lifting up an 80 pound leg and then like miscalculating that she tripped up on that sprained her ankle. I mean, it makes sense, dude. You, you got an 80 pound leg. You trying to get it up there. Um, but I'm happy to see her here walking up the sidewalk accurately. No, I wore the wrong shoes. I wore flats. Watch it. Ready? Whoop. 
Damn, bro. Look at that evo evolution right there. Evolution of elevation. Beautiful. Amber doing it big. No pun intended. Damn, why are fucking legs like that? That's crazy. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can I put myself? Hold up. Let me just put myself over here so you can just. I think I'll do this for an hour until the video ends. But damn. <laughs> I got a juicy, juicy. I got a. Uh, if you can see it from the front, wait till you see it from the back, 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 back. She ain't no high heel bra. Why is she always wearing the wrong shoes? True. Her feet almost spill over the edges of the flats. True. So you know she doesn't have many options when it comes to shoes. I don't know about that, dude. Come on, man. You know, the fact that she doesn't... She don't have many options in general being as fat as she is, dude. Why don't you, I know I always say this, just lose weight and get shoes, but it's so crazy how many times I have to say this shit as if, like, this isn't... You know the issue, dude. Is it, is it really the only reason you can wear those flats is because there's no shoes that fit the voluptuousness of your foot? Dude, how fat you gotta be for your foot to be spilling over the shoe? Bro, what? I've never even heard some shit like that. What kind of problems, man? I don't know about you, but that'd be a wake-up call for me. It would be more than a wake-up. Bro, the, if you have feet if you have feet that are literally spilling over shoes and you don't look at that as a wake-up call, I, there's nothing. There's literally nothing. But then again, we're literally talking about a girl that that didn't even look at it as like a problem when she had cancer. So, I mean, to be honest, like, it does, yeah, it makes sense. And as for the scooter usage, it's okay because skinny people use them too. True. Whatever you gotta tell yourself, girly pop. True, that's exactly what it is. She's coping hard to try to make it, to try to justify sitting on that. It's okay though. I mean, I understand that she has to use it because otherwise she wouldn't be able to like navigate the store. So it's a beautiful thing that these things exist. 571.0 pounds, dude. Doing it big. 571.0. Out of breath. What? <laughs> I love that. I love the. What? What are you talking about? What you mean what? You you know what that was, dude. You know what that was. That was all them late night sessions, bro. Body slamming those 2 a.m. trips to Walmart. Just racking up that debit card. Oh, burning through your wallet, huh? All that, all that money, bro. All that money that you got to be going into debt for to get those Uber Eat deliveries. Oh, my God. Are you for real right now? I'm... Standing here. Standing here. I realized you were just like me trying to make history. In utter shock. Goodbye. <laughs> That's just disrespectful as fuck, dude. Her scale be shading her, bro. That's crazy, bro. Talking scale is a paid actor. True. I'll never get over that perfect timing. But why was she pretending to be so shocked? She fucking... As if she didn't... Yeah, that's crazy, bro. I don't know why Amber really does this bullshit, man. I know you know that shit's big as fuck, dude. You, you, why is it an anomaly that you weigh that much? You be eating. That's a crazy thing that you... Oh, my God. I can't... Wow. It is so crazy that I weigh this much. I don't understand why I weigh this much. Anyway... <laughs> I don't know why I weigh this much. You know that binging on massive amounts of food will cause you to gain weight. Utter shock, y'all. Jasmine, what is in your hand? A sweet tea. A sweet tea. From where? Mackey's. We got a sweet tea from Mackey's. The golden arches. True. Why do you have the golden arches? Yeah, she's, you hear this respiratory. Why do you have the golden arches, Destiny? Damn, Amber, calm the f What are you even doing? Like, you're just in the parking lot? What is this? Like, I don't even know, dude. What is this, 50 feet from the car to the to the, to the to the front door? Man, this is un unbelievable lifestyle you live in. And why are you coming at Destiny for drinking a sweet tea? I will give her that, though. The sweet teas, they do taste good. But, dude, you know how many calories and sweet teas are? A lot. Those things are exorbitant in the calories. They just be back there like this with the sugar, like, just throwing it in there. And sometimes they'll just throw some extra stuff in there because, like, you don't fucking care. You just don't gonna eat that shit. They be scraping up the floor juices, right? The fermentation that go in there, just fucking scraping that shit up. You know what I'm talking about? You ever see those guys that make those, like, frozen yogurt treats where they put it out in the thing and they chop it up, right? And then they, they do the thing where they scrape it off off of the, the frozen plate and they put it into the bowls. That's what you're eating anytime you go to McDonald's, except they're doing that with the floor juice. The golden arches. Some people might get turned on by that. Why do you have the golden arches in your hand? 
Why did you eat 20 piece McNugget? Damn, 20 piece too. That's crazy as fuck. Damn. She can't show up. Damn, she really did her dirty on that one. That's crazy. But you got to expect some type of pushback. That's why I love Destiny so much, dude. Destiny put up with no shit. Destiny put no, no, she didn't give a fuck. If you said something to Destiny, Destiny would come at you even harder, dude. That's that swords. That's that fucking mirror force right there, dude. You activated my trap card, Kaiba. <laughs> Damn, she stopped. That shit stopped her in her tracks, bro. She got, oh, man, I can't believe you brought up that 20 piece I just body slammed, even though I just brought up that sweet tea you cooking up. <laughs> Shot, <laughs> shots fired. True. I miss Destiny never holding back True. and keeping it somewhat interesting. I think Amber needs- Yeah, that's that's one of the problems I've seen with Becky. Now, I'm not saying that Becky was an issue because Becky was her own person. And the problem that I found with Becky was that she was too passive. And that could work for some people in relationships. It's fine to be with somebody that's passive. But for somebody like Amber, she can't be with somebody passive. She needs somebody that has the pushback. Somebody that's going to be able to put her in her place. Because otherwise, it's just going to be walking all over her. But like I said, Becky is fine. She just needs to find Find somebody that's going to be able to like maintain that particular type of relationship it's someone not like Amber. destiny in her life again someone that isn't afraid to call her out on her bullshit bullshit she has been there when i binge and i don't know man i don't know why becky got that 2011 fucking why is she why is she always dressed like she's in a background video from justin bieber's like music videos man she tries to help me <laughs> i'm like i get mad i just kind of imagine her farting right here i just kind of think that she's probably just farting you know i don't know like I, for some reason like when she did that I, like when she bent over i just kind of like imagine her farting you know like just watch. That help me you know can you can you imagine i just kind of think that's probably what it is and like becky looked back like damn damn what the fuck bro that's what i imagine why are you making this video why does amber do this shit this is weird what the fuck are you doing like it's all right to be emotional it's okay but i don't know why she she's so emotional on youtube and other places bro what are you doing you have nobody else to do this with like becky's right there you can't do this in front of her okay i mean that'd be like me going like guys god i gotta tell you the truth i can't i can't hold this back anymore i know this is youtube and i know this is not the place to do it and i know that i know that i have other people in my life that i can confide in and they wouldn't judge me in any significant type of way but i gotta tell you i gotta tell you the truth i'm just i'm, I'm sick of this shit i'm sick of it i gotta tell somebody i gotta tell you right now i've been crying for 14 hours because i just realized that there are people in this world that will never realize the pure joy the beauty the bliss the absolute magnificence of having a ginormous meat i can't even believe how big meated i is crazy the amount of meat capacity i have is overboard when god put me together when he put me together he must have added in five six seven eight 19 different men meets on top of me it's cr somebody those 15 other guys those 27 other guys those 58 other guys on the planet are inverted penises because i had so much meat capacity isn't that crazy and it makes me upset it makes me sad it makes me cry i'm an emotional guy so I, just, I had to tell you <laughs> i had to tell you anyway yeah i just feel like you just there are other places to do this i'm like i get mad I got mad because obviously I don't drive and I don't even know if this is something I want to be honest about, but it's like, I just get very angry if I don't get my way during a binge and I feel like I'm me. I could tell bro. I saw those videos where she had those uh, food aggression, dude, where she was like, no, before we go, I need to eat, but I need to eat. And I'm always watching this girl doing that. And I'm always like, dude, you already ate like five times today. How much more you need to eat? You've been already eat. You've been eat all day. How much more eat you need? It's only, it's, it's 2 p.m. And you already eat five times today. How much more eat do you need? Damn. And Becky, I feel like she's just type of the person that'd be like, okay, okay, Amber. Okay. And even if you tell her. Hey, you need to you need to tell me when this is an issue. You need to put me in my place. I feel like Becky would be like, yeah, sure, sure I can. But doesn't stand on the business because Becky's not that guy. She's just not that guy. And that's all right. That's okay. You need to see like if you are in a relationship with somebody, you need to understand the position of that person. You can't put people like that in a position like that. It's just not there. It's not there. It, it, it's not them. 
right? It's not them. You can't expect them to to be somebody they're not. And that's all right. It's okay. Becky's not that person. You should be able to treasure. For this relationship, it was never meant to be. Being possessed by somebody because it's not who I am. No, you're taking accountability off yourself. Don't say, I was possessed by somebody. That's you. Don't try to make it seem... Because like when people say that shit, when they go like, no, it's, it's almost like it's an out-of-body experience for me. It's like it's not me. It is you. Stop acting. Why are you trying to take accountability off yourself? Just keep it a buck. It was you. You was hungry. You were body slamming that shit. You made that leg meal. It was you, not nobody else. And I remember after the binge. Becky is done with it, dude. You see this shit? Becky's like, dude, how long is this fucking video, bro? I got to play some League or something. Which was... <sighs> I regret it. But I remember after the binge, Becky was like, you're really mean to me because... True, dude. True, man. I could tell Amber is like really fucking mean. And you know what? I feel like I could be mean sometimes when I talk to people. But I feel like it's always because I'm not good emotionally in situations, dude. Like I've had times, dude, like I always want to... I always want to like solve issues, right? But maybe I just got to... Maybe I got to be better, dude, because I've had times and scenarios where I'm like, all right, let's solve this issue. But the other person is just always disingenuous. And it's like, bro, why are you bringing up things that are completely relevant? And I hook on to things sometimes because I'm like, dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why are you being so disrespectful right now? And then I go off and you know what? I said that in another video, right? Where somebody was like, David, oh, my God, I can't believe that if you're in a relationship with somebody, you called somebody a cunt or a bitch like those are really bad you got to work on that and i was like wow you know i think i really do have to work on let me watch that bit hold up let me see where this person is talking about that and then i clicked on the video and then i said like yeah it's something i gotta work on and i'm just thinking like why the fuck are you trying to tell me that i gotta work on this when i literally said in the video literally right after i said that that it's something i gotta work on yes i know it's something i gotta work on dude but sometimes it's not something you can work on i'm not trying to take away accountability for myself but sometimes that's just who you are, right? And it would be a better time acknowledging your faults and trying to find somebody that's going to be able to work with you than changing your entire way you're thinking and doing other things. But yeah, and the same thing here. Like uh, Amber is not that type of guy. She needs somebody that's going to be really aggressive, that's going to be able to put her in her place. Becky, not that guy. Because I kept saying no. Amber was really out here having tantrums and getting mad at Beck for not supporting her addiction. Now she makes comments saying that Beck enabled her. Maybe because she didn't want to deal with the 600 pound toddler's freak outs. Yeah, sometimes you just, it's better to walk away from people because it's like there's no reason for me to even be here right now. If you're going to be mean to me for no other reason than just being mean to me because you're going through something, then I don't want to be here. That's gross. You're you're going through gross behavior right now. Get away from me. Jeez. Um, everything happening. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Damn. What she said she got to bust it um, down. No, she's not checking out of the stream. She just needs a minute. Why? What's she doing? She got to she got to take a shit. Where, where'd she go? She busted it down. Well, wait, hold up. What is Amber doing right now? What? Dude, if, if you got to bust it down, if you got to take a shit, that's something you should probably have done before the stream. That's really how is this your stream, Amber? You over here in the bathroom blowing that shit up and you got to leave Bex over here doing the stream, dude. It's not even her stream. Okay. They tell Amberlynn I send a virtual hug here in her cry off screen breaks my heart. She was crying from that shit? From what? From busting it down? What are we doing right now? What are we talking about? Oh. Wait, you guys heard that? What? Okay, bro. Calm down, Amber. Calm. Man, Amber is so disgusting, dude. Oh, the pick me attitude. That pick me shit. That pick me like, oh. And so you guys heard that? You guys... You guys heard that distress that I had? You guys heard my emotional instability? You guys heard the way I was crying because of what happened? Just, just different. You know, I'm just, I'm just feeling something now. I'm just feeling, what are you doing? Amber, you're a grown woman, okay? Get your shit together, all right? I don't care if Becky said something mean to you or you said something mean to Becky or something went down. You got to get your shit together. You're a grown woman. I Yo. was trying my hardest not to have an anxiety attack. But why are you even on stream then if you're about to have an anxiety attack? What? Go to like go to the bathroom and drink some iced tea or something. Um, it was uh 
she had a, I, I think she actually had to take a shit. I think that's probably what it was. I mean, I'm, I, I it would be a good, it would be a good excuse if I'm being honest. Like, oh yeah, guys, my bad. Uh, I, I had an anxiety attack. Oh, I had anxiety attack real quick. That's what she knew like. what she was doing. She turned her laptop slightly instead of getting up and going to another room so we all could hear her crying. Oh, she was still in the room? Damn, bro. She couldn't even get the fuck up and cry in the other room? Damn, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I get it. Like, movement for her is, like, really, really not something that's sustainable. But damn, dude, you got to cry in front of her back. Bro, how awkward is it to have somebody, you know, when you're trying to be, like, super nice. You're trying to be like, yeah, guys, it's going to be a great stream tonight. It's going to be awesome. And then you got somebody next to you just boo-hooing. I broke up with Becky. I'm fat as fuck. My ankles hurt. Oh, we don't have any more cheese doodles. Like, that's, come on, dude. That's really agonizing to be in a, a, a get, leave. What are you doing here? What is that even fucking, get out. Get out. She loves the attention. If she didn't want people to know, then she would have ended the live or gotten True. up and walked away. That's a good point. But yeah, she probably did want the attention, man. Damn. I guess that takes too Damn, that's gross, dude. That's gross, man. Much effort. Massive trigger warning. I'm about to show you guys the inside of my ear, and I have never seen it. So, I'm, like, really nervous. What are chicken okay. bones? Oh, my God. What if there's a spider? Wait. Okay. I wish you guys could see me. <laughs> I'm not good at editing or I'd record my reaction too. Wait. She's kind of cute. Wait, what is I see some earwax. Yeah. Oh my god. This is out of this world weird. We're going in the other ear. We are now going into the left ear. Okay. <laughs> Bro. Wait, do you guys want to go up my nose a little bit? No. <laughs> OMG, the hyena laugh. I don't even know what to say about this though. Why did she feel the need to show us that? Thankfully, she stopped at the nose at least. Here is the dress that I had on. Damn, that's just some grandma shit, dude. Damn. Damn, bro. Yeah, you know one thing I will say about Amber is that girl be buying shit, dude. I can't what it look at the walls, man. Like I I can't even believe this this much on the fucking wall. Like, you see what's behind me on my wall? I got nothing, dude. I need a woman's touch in here or something, dude. I need, like, some wall. I need some paintings. I need a lamp. I need a whole bunch of stuff because I'm just too bare bones. But Amber got so much. She got so much stuff, dude. Did she wall mount this? That's crazy. I, don't, I can't even believe people wall mount TVs anymore, dude. That's insane. And she does have a lamp. Um, Is she wearing this backwards? Why does it look like that? Is it, isn't this supposed to be on the back? Am I wrong? Am I wrong, guys? This looks backwards. I don't know. I guess maybe it doesn't matter at this size. Again, size six. Size six what? 16? Bro, what the fuck are you doing? This is backwards, right? Is this not backwards? No. Ooh, I like how it fits down here. But something that I haven't yet had a problem Bro, that shit is literally choking you, dude. Look at this fucking thing. That shit is literally on your necks. With is up here is very tight and probably too tight for my liking. I think it's really honestly just the material of this. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Stop, dude. Stop. Who's this girl, man? Look at those curls. That's what I thought. An iconic moment in hater history. But really, it is crazy that a size 6X didn't even fit her. I'm not sure how she thought she had it on the right way anyway. Her neck slash second chin were pushing the- Wait, you couldn't like look up, a t you couldn't look up the, the, like she bought it somewhere, right? So like when usually you see model style and that shit, they're always so cringy, by the way. I always look like they're having way more fun than they actually are. Like all you're doing is just wearing a shirt. Why are you acting like that? But you couldn't like look at the, like, oh, let me just real quick see. Oh, wow, I'm wearing it backwards. Just to double check. Those scrappy pieces down. You guys like Cracker Barrel? I'll tell you one thing. They're I've never in my life ever been inside of a Cracker Barrel. Chairs are tiny. That's crazy as fuck. Can you imagine going like, hey, guy. So, Amber, tell me about, like, tell me about what you think about Cracker Barrel. Oh, man. Cra let me tell you about Cracker Barrel. Um... Great restaurant, but like the worst thing, the worst thing about Cracker Barrel. Now you're expecting her to say some food, right? Is the chairs. The chairs? 
The chairs? What In what world does somebody ask you about your opinion about a restaurant and you go for the chairs? That's crazy as fuck. You're big as shit if you have to go to the chairs. That's crazy. So, a girl with my type of butt? No. What do you mean? You're, okay, look, dude. I'm, I know Amber tried to settle brag there. And I know that she's trying to like, oh, you know, I got a big booty. So, it's kind of hard for me. Now, you got a big everything. You got a big little all. So, it's not just your butt. Okay? I, everything else. Like, it's all about the context. You know, there's a reason... There's a reason why when people say like, damn, girl got ass, girl got ass. You know, like a lot of people don't say that about women that are like 400 pounds. You know that? Because like the context around the butt cheeks don't really matter. You know what I'm talking about? Like if you got a big butt cheek at 400 pounds, everything is going to be big too. So it's not even like the butt cheeks even matter because the reason why somebody would compliment you on the bigness, the voluptuousness, the girthitude of a butt cheek would be that everything else around it is smaller, right? And a lot of guys can get away with this too. If you're a smaller dude, if you're like a guy that's a little bit skinnier, uh, you can literally look like you got some serious swing action, some serious pendulum shit. If you put that shit at that right angle, you know what I'm talking about? Just let that shit swing down your leg or something like that. You can 100% make it look like that you got some craziness, like you got some serious, like, you know what I'm saying? Some serious protein action. And it can also work negatively for men that are big like big men with average size penises don't look like they have average size penises they look like they got small penises because around the package right the context of where you're looking at that shit you're like damn that shit is kind of oh, oh let me zoom out oh no that's just small that's just real small because the guy's massive right but if you're a smaller dude you got even an average meat you're just gonna be looking crazy obviously i would never have to worry about that since i got a crazy big meat already or a guy with my type of butt or a non-binary, you know. Okay, Amber, calm down. We can't sit there. It's not comfy. It's not fun. I have a huge ass. The chairs are totally normal. Who is going to tell her that her butt is not the only issue? True. We're just going to ignore the legs and gut and True. everything else and say it's just because you got a big old booty. Yeah, but she's saying she got a big booty because she knows that's like, I got that booty booty. I eat that lunch. All right, girl. For a minute there, I was looking at the pasta moments. Oh, but Chinese sounds good. Well, yo, Amber gotta calm down, bro. She got food on the mind too often. Ooh, Baskin Robbins. Yo, calm down. What you going through right now? What is that, or Uber Eats? What you doing? Hi, ma'am. Paggiano's Italian classic. Bro, what are you doing right now? What the fuck? Somebody take the phone away, bro. This girl got a problem. What you talk? What are you looking through right now? Ooh, a Pokeball. I'm gonna keep on scrolling. You should scroll away from the app, dude. What are you doing right now? She real deal just like scrolling through food right now? You know, me sometimes, right? I'll scroll through and I'm just I'm just watching videos about Yu-Gi-Oh! or Star Wars. And I guess that's my advice. But for Amber, she just be scrolling through Uber Eats. Sushi. Bro. How do you feel about sushi? It doesn't matter. Like, it don't really matter what you eat, right? You're just going to body that shit. Why does it even matter? I don't know. Sushi's a winner. a winner. <gasps> we decided! And that was her only accomplishment for the day. Choosing what to door dash. What a life. True. Beautiful Time life. for some rapid fire rage worthy moments to finish this video off. Start your deep breaths now. Finish me off. Bro, I ain't got it, bros. I, you've been knew that. You've been known. Like, what do you mean? True. She does have, she has no eyebrows. It's just, that's a factual statement. Plus you get fuller, you know. When you eat slower. Yeah. But then if you eat faster, you, you get more. My last thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Amber. Yeah. She right. She's right. Yeah. If you eat more, you do get more. That's a fact. I mean, obviously, you just create more, fo more food somehow. My wallet is this whole page full of Danielle Steele books that she has wrote in her novels. I hope that my hate will lower and my love will higher. True. I don't really know if that'll happen. Oh. We're in the shower. What is that? Hold on, wait. Oh, that was a towel. <laughs> Why does Amber do this? Why is she taking a shower and she videotaping this shit? Are y'all still there? Oh, she does it in the shower? She brushed her teeth in the shower? Oh, man, wow. Two, two, two things, two birds, one stone? Hello, are you still there? Okay. We are clean and pristine. Hello? <laughs> Is anyone home?
Damn, that towel, man. Damn, that shit doing work. Hello? That towel doing some serious work right now, bro. There's a lot to hold. Is anyone home? <laughs> oh, Amberlynn said shower with me. Damn. Nice. Let's try it. I'm really nervous because this is so... Because it's green? Random. It's like a little cucumber boat. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Okay. I can't. I can't lie to people. I physically can't. Like my guilt is like no bueno. I drink diet soda on the daily. I actually drank like six a day. Damn. And it never made me gain weight. It actually helped me. I bought a bunch. This is all from Amazon. Succulents have a <laughs> succulent situation. Dude, why is she calling them that, dude? What do they pronounce? Succulents, right? Not, as you guys know, I love me some succulents. I just True. have this little succulent. Dude, what are you doing right now? Why is she saying that shit? That shit is dry as fuck, dude. Look at that. Look at the pasta. That shit is dry. Succulent. What are you gonna call them? I don't think this is a succulent. It's like ALR doesn't know she's 600 LBs. True. Well, I'm not. <laughs> You know? Oh, my bad, dude. Why is it like, if you're 570 and you're talking about some, I'm at least I'm not 600. What you talking about? What does that even mean? That's like somebody going like, dude, you know, you fucked. You, your body count's 100. And you're like, dude, first of all, my body count is not 100. Okay. It's 94. Okay. Fucking get it right. I can't even believe that you would say that I'm anywhere close to fucking 100. Triple digits, dude. What are you fucking gross? How dare you assume that? You disgusting human being. I, I never. I would never. You, you, anyway. <laughs> Ugh. 95 now. Not 600 pounds, are you? No. Damn. Damn. Becky even asked her, was like, damn, you're not? <laughs> Since when? What? You're not 600 pounds right now? You're lying. You're lying. OD. Well, I'm not. You're not 600 pounds, are you? No. Um, she's not like that big. No, no, no. Or do you feel like your panic attacks come from you having to deal with the reality of your situation? No, they come from people making me feel like I'm crazy. It's always somebody else, huh? Never you? Never you, Amber? Like, I am delusional, and like, what I'm saying isn't real. Because you lie so often, so people have to like, double, triple, quadruple check you. Hootenberry, hootenberry. Or the things I say gets twisted. Hootenberry, 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 hootenberry. Yo! Hootenberry, Whoa! Whoa! What was that, dude? Damn. Amber got the moves. All right, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. I enjoy your presence here. Thank you for enjoying, indulging, and jesting the lovely Amber Lynn Reed. She's a beautiful specimen of human being. I love watching anything that she does because she's so incredibly, I'm going to be honest with you, she's very, very, very vile of a person. And she's incredibly boring, depending on the style and scenario. But I get enjoyment in seeing the lies and how people check her on her lies and stuff like that. So it's it's always enjoyable for me. I personally think Foodie Beauty is way more watchable. Foodie Beauty is actually the whole package when it comes to that. Fat, obese, diabetic, and funny. Those are great things. Those are all great. I mean, not great things, but you know what I'm saying. At least like the last two things. Not the diabetes, though. But anyway... You're a beautiful person. You smell really good today. Uh, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I appreciate tremendously. How come Amber can do that, but I can't? I can do that, you know? I mean, I don't got nothing there. I don't got anything there, but still. Did you guys appreciate that? Anyway, you're a beautiful specimen. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in shake. Shake. Shake, shake, shake. Uh, you're a beautiful person, by the way. I love you. I care for you. I think you're delightful. I think you're amazing. I think you smell great. I think you have amazing hair. I think you have amazing armpits. I love the way your ankles are shaped. I love the way that your kneecaps are jointed. I love everything with the exception of that one thing. And you know what I'm talking about, a random piece of hair that like grows on the side of your, you know, I don't like that. You got to do something about that. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. You're going to have to do something about that because it's not attractive. I don't want to keep looking at it. Okay. Get it out. Get it away from me. But if you want, I guess I can look at it a little bit longer. It's not the worst. Actually, I kind of like it. <laughs> I do like it, actually. Okay, I love it. Okay, I love it. Okay, what? 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 I'm sorry for gaslighting you. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social medias, I'll be linked down below in the description of this video and the description of the channel. So if you want to check out any of that stuff, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace. I got that booty booty.